Okay, welcome to the tutorial on setting up channel permissions inside of a Mumble server. Uh, you may be wondering why you would want to do something like that. Uh, if you're new to Mumble or perhaps coming from a, a different system like Ventrilo, uh, you may be familiar with the concept of password protecting a channel, uh, setting it up so that only certain users can enter a channel and, and speak in that channel. Uh, and that's called password-based authentication, and it has a, a number of drawbacks. Um, some of them would be if a user who has a password and a right to enter a channel legitimately, uh, they might give out that password to one of their friends, and then that user might turn around and give it out to some of their friends, and eventually you're faced with a situation where you have a, a significant number of users who have access to a channel that should not. Um, that's one drawback. Another one would be uh, if you have several, several password-protected channels, um, a user would have, need to remember the passwords for all those channels, and it, it gets kind of complicated. Um, and, and while Mumble does support that password-based authentication mechanism, it has uh, what is, well, I don't want to say it's a better solution. It, it has an alternative solution that in most cases is, in fact, better to using passwords. And, and namely, that's certificate-based authentication combined with access control lists, or ACLs. And what those allow, or what that solution allows you to do is set up uh, some fairly advanced set of permissions on your Mumble server and maintain it easily and it's also secure. A, a user is not going to be able to give out a password to someone else and then have them uh, or give them access to the channel if you don't allow them to do so. So uh, that's what we should be covering today. Um, the scenarios that we'll be looking at are setting up a officer's channel and allowing only your officers access into that channel and setting up a member's channel and allowing all the members of your guild access into that channel. Um, the reason you might want to set up a member's channel if you have a fairly open Mumble server, uh, say you run a lot of pugs or things of that nature, uh, you might have no password on your server or a widely distributed password and you might want a room or a set of rooms for members of your guild to use without uh, being interfered with by some random user connecting to your server. So that's what we'll be looking at today. Uh, you see, I am connected as a super user. You can connect as your normal account, as long as your normal account is an admin. Uh, and I, we cover that in a separate tutorial, how to make your normal account an admin. So for the time being, we'll use the super user account, which has access to do anything on the server, except speak. Uh, you'll see I created two channels already, and in, in fact, actually, you know what, I'm just going to, I'm going to delete these and show you how to add your own channels in case you're not familiar with that in Mumble. It's very easy. All you need to do is right-click on a channel, or excuse me, right-click on an existing channel. In our case, we only have the root channel right now, so I'll add one under the root and call it Members. And then I'll add another one called Officers. Great. So now we have two channels that are, at the moment, using the default permissions that uh, come with your Mumble server. So we need to restrict. Let's start with the officers channel. Uh, the first thing we need to do is create an officers group. And to do that, I've right-clicked on the root channel, and then I'll click on edit, and then I'll click on the groups tab here. And this groups tab allows me to uh, create new groups, delete old groups, manage group membership, uh, just about anything you need to do with regards to a group, you can do it through this tab. Um, I'm going to create a new group called Officers, and then click the Add button. Um, it's important to note that uh, my Officers group, even though I've called it Officers, there's really no correlation between that and the channel. Um, they, they both have the same name, just because that's, that's easy for me to remember. It doesn't necessarily need to be that way. And in fact, I, we'll just remove this, and I'll add a group called OFC. We'll use that so it's clear that there's no correlation. The group's been created. Um, you see I have members here, uh, or an, rather an empty members list. We need to add some folks to it. So I, I click this drop down and select a couple of people who should be, who are officers of my guild, who I uh, want to also make officers of this group. And you may have noticed that my mic account doesn't appear in this list. Um, that's for a couple of different reasons. Let me click OK and we'll come back to the server here. You see, uh, next to Mike, there's no authenticated icon. That's this person with the plus. Um, that means Mike is not registered on this server. So to register him, I'm going to right-click his name and then click Register. And that's going to allow me to add, make him a member of the officers group or the OFC group. And I'll type Mike in here and click Add. And now Mike is a member of the officers group as well. 
Okay, so there's the officers group. I'll click OK. Uh, now we have a group, an officers group with members. Now we need to set up permission on the office, or permissions on the officers channel. And to do that, I'm going to right click this time on the officers channel itself and then click edit. Uh, this time we're interested in the ACL tab or the access control lists. Uh, you see here, these are these three are the uh, permissions that have been inherited from the root channel. Uh, what that means is these these permissions were set on the root, and now uh, they apply to this channel as well because of this checkbox right here that says inherit ACL. So you see, if I uncheck it, they go away. If I check it, they come back. Um, it's okay. We can leave inherit on. Uh, we're going to add a permission, a uh, new entry here, an access control entry in our list. Uh, this entry will be for our officers group, OFC, and we want to uh, come over here under the permissions area and check the allow enter permission. That's going to give them the ability to enter. Um, as it turns out, right now everyone has the ability to enter those, so the next step we need to do is lock the channel down so that only this officers group has permission to enter. And the way we do that, I'm going to add another entry. Uh, this time I'm going to leave the group as all, and this just means all users on the server, and I'm going to check the uh, deny permission, the deny enter permission, to deny all users access to enter the channel. Uh, now you may be looking at this and wondering what's going on here. You have two all entries and OFC entry. How does Mumble know what permission to apply? And the answer is that the A scales are processed in a top to bottom fashion. Uh, and that means that the topmost entry is the least important and the bottommost entry is the most important. So it, it, Mumble will go through the list of entries and see what applies and, and apply them sequentially. So the correct order here, I, I'm, I'm gonna move this up. So I've highlighted the at all entry, I'm gonna move it up. And I'll just quickly explain the process that Mumble goes through when someone connects to or tries to enter the officer's channel. Uh, Mumble will open up this ACL list for the officer's channel and start applying them one by one, starting at the top. So at the top here, this all users entry, it says allow enter permission. So this means at this point, everyone has permission to enter the channel. Um, but it doesn't stop there. It goes on to the next entries, the admin entry. Um, does the admin entry apply to this user? In this case, it, it wouldn't apply, so it skips this entry. Auth, does auth apply to this user? Maybe they're registered, maybe not. Um, in either case, nothing is checked under the enter permission uh, for this entry, so this gets skipped as well. The next entry it hits is this all users entry again. And here we say deny the enter permission to everyone. Um, so at this point in time, everyone is denied enter permission. So it hits, uh, Mumble goes through one final entry, this OFC entry, and this gets applied to anyone who's a member of the officers group. And this here, I have the allow box checked for enter under the enter permissions. This means that anyone who's an officer or a member of the officers group can enter. Um, if you're not a member, then the last one to take effect is this at all entry, and they will not be allowed to enter the channel. Um, so that's the way we want to set it up. So I'll hit OK. And now our officers channel is set up. Um, I'm going to set up the members channel slightly differently. I'm not going to create a members group. Uh, instead, what I'm going to do is say all authenticated users, I'm going to assume all authenticated users are members of my guild and should therefore have access to the members channel. Um, a couple of things we need to do. Uh, by default, users can register themselves on the Mumble server. And, and what the registration does is it just tells Mumble um, uh, this user has this certificate and this is the name they want to go by. No one else can use this name if they don't have this certificate. And the certificates are created during the Mumble uh, when Mumble's first installed on their computer. Um, so what we need to do is say not all users can register themselves. And the way we do that is we come to the ACL tab for the root channel, select the last at all entry, and you see how uh, under the register self permission, it says allow. We don't want that, so I'm just going to remove this entry, and that's going to make it so that users cannot register themselves. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is set up permissions on the members channel so that all authenticated users can enter this channel. Now, uh, by def 
default, we have this at auth entry that's been inherited from the uh, parent channel, but because it's been inherited, it means we can't make any changes to it. So we need to add another entry um, here, similar to what we did on the officers channel. We'll start this time with the all users group, and we'll go ahead and check deny enter. And then I'll add another entry below it, and this time for the group, we want to select auth. And that's short, of course, for authenticated users or uh, registered users. So anyone who has that uh, registered icon next to the name, this permission will apply to them. And here I'm going to select allow enter. So it's very similar to what we set up with the officers group. It's just in this case, instead of creating a group and assigning members to it, um, I'm just saying all authenticated users have access to this channel. Uh, you can look through this list and see what else you might want to get, what other permissions you might want to give them. Uh, maybe you want them to be able to create channels. Uh, that would be this one. Make temporary channels would be this one. Uh, you can look through this list and find out what else you might like to give them. Uh, whew, finally, uh, we might want to make it so that um, officers can register other users. And the way we do that is on the root channel, we'll right click it and then hit edit switch over to the ACL tab, and we're going to add a permission for our officers group. And we're going to say that they are allowed to register users, and click OK, and we're done.